smartphones, computers, electric cars, the great advancements of our age. We are consuming so much of this on an annual basis. And the, and the reason why we are consuming it is that it basically improves our quality of life. But what happens when we no longer have a use for them? It becomes a global problem that literally piles up as electronic waste. This is a really alarming sign. We found out that in 2019, we produced roughly 54 million tons of free, of free waste. Put another way, that is the weight of hundreds of Queen Mary II cruise ships. And the environment pays the price. When electronic devices are incinerated, harmful gases are released into the air. When they're buried, the heavy metals inside can seep into groundwater and soil. And the problem is expected to get worse. The International Solid Waste Association predicts the amount of global waste in the next 10 years will increase by 35%. A report by the Global E-Waste Monitor cites China as the biggest contributor with a little over 10 million tons, followed by the United States with 6.9 million and India with 3.2 million. Together, they accounted for nearly 38 percent of last year's worldwide total of e-waste. One factor is just the sheer number of consumers from this trio of nations. Also, products are becoming cheaper and more accessible, particularly since the pandemic. All of us are doing now homework or homeschooling, and for this we require technology at the end of the day. That demand is outpacing government efforts to address the e-waste problem. We have all the tools, all the technologies to have a circular economy in the next 20, 30 years and a wasteless future. However, we lack the governance systems to put them in place. For its part, China has asked all consumer electronics manufacturers to produce less toxic products and also offers subsidies to certified recycling companies. And companies are also playing a role. Aihui Shou is one of China's largest online electronic recycling platforms. Instead of tossing devices, customers can sell secondhand versions online to users in lower tier cities and less developed nations. But analysts say these efforts must be coupled with raising awareness about not only how we consume, but how we dispose. Right now, for a wasteless future, I think we are heading for a wasteful planet. Francis Coe, CGTN.